time now for our first community conversation of the day. We are joined by Eric Ward, Assistant Athletic Director for UVA Athletics. He's sitting down with Steve. Hi, you two. All right, it may still be summer outside. It certainly feels like it, but fall is definitely in the air on grounds when it comes to sports. Big time of year for the Who's, and it all starts tonight at home. Yeah, very first event of the regular uh, season for this academic year is tonight. Women's soccer team number five in the country opened up against Nevada. Uh, they've had a really nice preseason and exhibition season, so very much looking forward to getting them going tonight and starting off the year with a bang. And that just gets things rolling because men's soccer, field hockey, volleyball all at home next week. Yeah, they've, they've all been kind of in their exhibition season, but we're opening up the full season next week, which will be great with our student body coming back uh, over the weekend. All right, let's get into women's basketball, too, as they prepare for the upcoming season. Tickets on sale now yeah, and, you know, and selling well. Yeah, very much so. Um, it's great to see what Coach Mox is able to do. We definitely have a local flair to our roster. Definitely. Um, and, and a lot of talent coming back. So um, here we are months out from the season. They've already sold more season tickets than last year, which in itself was crazy compared to the year before. So <laughs> um, people really jumping on the women's basketball train. And you know, I know they're very hard to work to have a really good season, which will be here before we know it. All right, before we, before we know it, football kicks off. I mean, we are just a matter of days now away. Uh, season opener, September 2nd in Nashville. That will certainly give the Who's a tough test and kind of a feel for where they stand after fall camp. Yeah, you know, I saw that the, uh, the AP poll came out this week, Tennessee ranked number 15, which is a really good start for us. I think that's a, that's a nice way to kind of round out the fall camp. It's something you want to build towards and uh, certainly a great trip for our fans to be able to go to Nashville. So. Um, I think that'll be a really strong start of the season. I think they're very tired of uh, being in camp with each other. They're ready to go hit somebody else. So um, things kind of shaping up really well for that September 2nd kickoff. And of course, we'll come back and JMU will be the first game at Scott Stadium. Yeah, you know, we, we certainly ended the season in a very tragic way, but uh, it's going to be an unbelievable atmosphere in Scott Stadium for that opener. Um, we have a lot of the tributes and, and things like that, certainly before the game. Um, there are some things that we're kind of teasing. Uh, that will be coming out leading up to the game to get fans there. But, uh, you know, the community and the way it rallied and supported our student athletes, our coaches uh, was unbelievable. And, and I think there's going to be some nice things we're going to be able to do for the fans to kind of say thank you um, and start the season off right in Scott Stadium. I know the university has already mentioned um, another way that they'll pay tribute to those three players that were killed. Yeah, you know, I know we have a, a planting that's coming out in the next uh, week. Um, so that, that'll be something that, that or act, I'm sorry, in a few weeks here, before, right before the season. Um, but that, that'll be very special. And um, one of my favorite events actually of the, the year is going to be happening tomorrow night in Scott Stadium, which is our first year as they're all moving in this week. <laughs> going to get their first taste of game day in, in Scott Stadium and give them a little pep rally. And we're going to have a fireworks show at the end for them. So if you hear that, don't be surprised because that's uh, always something that people are like, what is that? But, a lot of great memories over the years at Scott Stadium. The 500th game there is coming up. Hard to believe. Uh, definitely one of the oldest stadiums in college football. It's held up very, very well, but I think it's in its 93rd year. <laughs> so uh, game number 500 against JMU on September 9th. All right, Eric, appreciate it as always. Good luck with the fall. Cool, thank you. All right, Casey.